Welcome to the C-Suite Minimalists. Whether you are a manager or an entrepreneur, it's your place for practical insights on how to do better, with less. And now this is your host Victoria. Thank you Darren. Hello, hello C-Sweeters. Great to have you here for episode 4 of the C-Suite Minimalists podcast. In today's episode, I thought it would be a good idea to go to space. Hold on, Victoria, hold on. What on earth do you mean by that? Am I ready to go to space? Are you? Relax, Darren. You being an artificial intelligence co-host are ready to go anywhere, anytime. It's actually me that has to prepare more. But for now, we, the C-Suite Minimalists, will go to space only through a masterclass on space exploration. It is actually taught by a real astronaut, Chris Hatfield. I attended his masterclass recently and I found in it some valuable ideas that I wish to share with our community of C-Sweeters. I start with Chris Hatfield's short story. Chris Hatfield is a failure. When he was nine, growing up in a farm in Ontario, his life goal became to walk on the moon. The currently 58-year-old Hatfield never did. He only became the first Canadian to ever walk in space, an astronaut that has flown on two space missions, the fighter pilot that has served as a commander of the International Space Station and the receiver of NASA Exceptional Service Medal. Well, we can easily say that most of us will only wish upon a star to fail in such a spectacular way. Hatfield's story is a great way to learn about exploration, and not only space, in my opinion. Darren, would you please help me to share some key life lessons from this masterclass? Sure, Victoria. Lesson 1. Your life is a sum of the little things that you choose to do every day. Here is how an aspiring astronaut thinks. If I'm a person who someday will walk on the moon, what should I do this afternoon? Having decided on an early stage on his dream, Hatfield asked himself continuously what books should he read or what food should he eat. As improbable his dream was when he was nine, it is actually the cumulative collection of all those little things that you have done that define who you are right now. I quote him. It's the cumulative collection of all those little things that you have done that define who you are right now. So, taking small but deliberate steps is the key. Lesson 2. Celebrate your personal victories. The astronaut says that he had a goal to walk on the moon, but getting into space requires commitment and hard work for many years. No one would really care about the numerous achievements one has to go through to reach that level, the moon. But actually each and every person should take time to reflect and celebrate the accomplishments in the meantime. Learning a language, getting a degree while raising kids, reading a book, all of those are stepping stones to the big success. And Hatfield says, don't wait till the end of the journey to enjoy recognition. Recognize yourself in the meantime. Lesson 3. Focus, patience and persistence. What is your dream job, my fellow listeners? Chris Hatfield waited for a job advertisement that said Wanted astronauts since he was nine years old. He says that he regularly checked the papers for it. He asked his friends and family to check for it. And in the meantime, he prepared. And one day, the ad was there. Wanted astronauts. A key lesson here is to really focus your ability in the direction that you want to go and build on it. Only then you are sitting by the phone after years of study and after five months of rigorous interviews and selection committees at NASA. Only then the opportunity phone rings and you hear the final decision. Would you like to be an astronaut? And you respond like he did. Yes. I always have. Lesson 4. Give yourself permission to imagine what has never been before. Even if now something is not possible, in time things change. Impossible things happen, says the astronaut. 
When he started to dream about the moon, there was no Canadian space agency, as he's from Canada, no astronauts, nothing. When Neil Armstrong was born, the word astronaut did not even exist. It actually took Hatfield 26 years from the dream to flying in space. An important lesson to be a successful explorer, not only in space, is that it can never happen overnight. It takes preparation and hard work. You don't just wake one day and go out exploring space, do you? Lesson 5. Be calm, ready, and competent. Being a bold and successful explorer in any area does not require risky behaviors and arrogance, Hatfield believes. He says, we, the real astronauts, are not like that. In fact, contrary to the popular belief, did you know that astronauts and explorers don't like adrenaline in their vein? Instead, they're calm, capable and competent. And last advice, a bonus one but not least. If someone is willing to teach you something, especially for free, get them to do it. Information and knowledge is just freedom to choose. That's it for today's episode of the C-Suite Minimalists podcast. The place we come to do better with less. Write us a review, suggest a topic, comment, share or subscribe to this podcast. Thank you and until next week, C-Sweeters. You are listening to the C-Suite Minimalists. Whether you are a manager or an entrepreneur, it's your place for practical insights on how to do better with less. Visit our website www.thecsuiteminimalists.com.